All right, what's going on, everybody? Swagger Games, you're back. I'm home early from school. I got to go back to work, but I just wanted to give you guys a little heads up on what's going on uh, as of late. So, one of my friends that I've known like pretty much all my life, he's on SoundCloud. You know, he became a rapper, and a lot of people from our school uh, at first didn't support him. And then, you know, I always liked his music. I thought it was good, and I shared it with some of my friends. This was a couple months ago. And they said, you know, they didn't like it and stuff. And now he's, you know, at like 83,000 total views. And at least every, you know, song he puts out there is, gets at least like 2,000 views. Most of them have like 10,000. So that's that's crazy, man. You know, just the potential is there. So, you know, I just wanted to give you... Uh, the link will be above, oh, in the description. So, or you could just look up Real Deal, you know, STA stuff. So... Yeah, uh, so the, yeah, this giveaway that's going to be sponsored by the both of us, we're going to give away a uh, $50 PSN and uh, a $10 iTunes card. So if you want to enter that, then you have to, number one, you have to follow us on Twitter. The Twitter links will be in the description. Number two, you have to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You should already be subscribed, I hope. Probably not all of you are. And you have to uh, follow him on SoundCloud. You know, check out some of his music. I'm asking for you to, you know, 100% support him. I'm just asking for you to at least check it out. Drop a follow. Why not? You know, if you're into rap music, hip hop, you have nothing to lose. So, and I wish you guys the best of luck. Short and sweet. Swag so Games, signing out. Have a great day. Let's get into today's episode. Oh, yeah, guys. So, I forgot to actually show you the card. So, let me do that so it doesn't sound like BS. Give me one sec, guys. They're right here. My room is messy. I'll clean it. Um, here are the PSN codes. And, of course, the iTunes. So, I, I'm going to keep it rolling. So, got to go to work right now, like I said. Uh, you know, the focus of my NBA 2K18 for the most part right now, I think we can all agree on, is this building for 18. 18 can still be very fun. I want to return. I... Alright, I just picked up a soda. I'm going to have my way. But, like I said, 18 can still be a great game. There's going to be guys back. The focus on 18, though, has to be bringing back community guys like Tony, Will, Young Gary Oak, Viddy Gaming... Uh, guys like that, we know we know those people that come back every year, but they're not the focus point. We need we need um we need like you know what I'm saying like we need how do I explain this? We need uh features that appeal to people besides money spenders and grinders. We need just fun events like yo yo. Yeah, I'm with my I'm with my you know four boys right now in in study or not. Study hall. I used to I used to play blacktop with my friends in study hall. It was pretty fun. But the, like, if you're with two friends outside of school, there should be game modes that are like, hey man, we don't grind the game, we don't spend money, but you know, it's definitely yo hit up this uh this cool game mode or something. Let's play for a little for an hour, kill some time. You know, not uh let's play king of the court and you know spend twenty bucks so we can get the event card because you know we don't really grind or we don't really spend money. So. Let me know if you uh, agree with me. If you don't, it's alright. I mean, just kind of speaking. Why does it say check ages? Okay. What the frick? Alright, technical difficulties. So, i see you guys later. Gotcha. Alright guys, so I was thinking of what a topic video I want to do today. And it has nothing to do with my MBA. So I will put mine B on the side just because, you know, people can follow it. Really? So, um, yeah, I had a meeting with a college today. No, it's... Oh, my God. It's so annoying, bro. I had a meeting with a college today, and it wasn't... It's not the college that I want to go to. It was just... It's a, it's a uh, pretty good school. I mean, it's not like the 30,000 a year school or anything like that, but... Uh, they have a major that I want, and my goal was if I don't get into the school I want to, I would take that go to there for two years, you know, get a degree and then just switch every all my credits over to that school, which I can do. But 
Uh, I'm still waiting back. To, um, I just applied a week ago to the school I want to go to. So, but anyway, the point is, you know, I had an interview to see if I would get in or not. I, I'll be real with you. I knew I would get in. I mean, so I went in there and then the guy, you know, he like shook my hand and he asked me, you know, what I was planning on majoring. I said communications. And he said, what are you planning on doing with that? And I said, journalism, broadcasting, you know, things like that. And then, uh, what did he say after that? He said, uh, oh yeah. And then he was like, do you have any experience with that? And then I said, uh, yeah, I write for the paper. I write for, you know, News Times, the paper for Connecticut. I have a couple articles there. Uh, I have a, obviously the highest, you know, level journalism class in the school honors. I have a 96 in right now. So, um, and then he, he was like, look, really stunned. He was like, oh my God, wow. We, uh, you know, we have, uh, we need somebody, you know, to help us with like, get our uh, school's messages out in Danbury and all of that. So I was like, wow, I could definitely do that. You know, I, I already do that now. And he was like, and then he brought up a job and he said that I could get paid for, I would, I, not that I could, I would get paid for it. So I was, I was pretty surprised, man, you know, to go into college and to get a job right away in the industry. And then I would obviously, you know, take classes. I would get better in communications. Then I'd transfer to the school I want to go to. Um, it's pretty cool, man. I mean, it's honestly, you know, uh, I'm just glad that, you know, I got everything together my senior year. My first three years, I was terrible in school. I got like C's and B's. That's, that's bad. It is. Come on. Especially in this generation with how hard it is to get into school. So... What I did was my senior year, I put up 96s, 94s, 92, 90s, lowest grade when I was in 86, 88, 88, I don't know. But whatever the point being is, you know, if you're in school right now and you're getting C's and B's and you live up to your full potential, put the stupid stuff away, man, and just study and get your grades up. Because when you're in my position right now applying to schools and you don't get in, you have only yourself to blame. So I just want to give you guys a message about school. Like I said, nothing to do with my MBA. We'll be on the side, of course. I got to head to work. I hope you guys have an awesome day and a great weekend. This is Shab Games. I'm signing out. Rockets in four. I got two, long, one for the plug and one